It is time for the meal house. We're back in the Fox 61 by Carrier Kitchen. We're talking modern comfort food from Blue Plate Kitchen. My new friend here, Ty Woodward, so great to meet you and have you on the show. Thanks for thank, being with us. Thank you. So we are making something that would actually be perfect if you're thinking ahead, maybe for Mother's Day, right? Yes, perfect. Mom would love this. Yes, it's a definitely a family indicator. Yeah. All right, so let's get started. I'm free to help you out if you need me. Okay, so we're gonna start with our pork chop, and I'm gonna show you basically the marinade, because before the process starts, you wanna marinate this for 24 hours. But for TV time, we have one already ready to go. Right, all right, so sounds good. So you take the pork chop. Now, is that a regular pork chop that you would just get? At, is there a certain cut? It's a French, French, French cut. cut. Yeah, and <laughs> what makes it French? <laughs> um, because these are specially cut for us through Bogner, okay. through our meat company distributor, okay. so that's why the bone, and they're pretty thick and mm -hmm. very tasty. All right. So we're gonna start with olive oil. Okay. Some fresh rosemary, a little bit of parsley, some lemon juice, salt, pepper, and adobo. Mm. So you're gonna mix that in and give that a good really toss get and into coating. It, yeah. Okay. So I want this to be pretty much coated, not too much, but mm -hmm. you know, just a little bit. And a little bit of, of planning involved with this. So yes, it should sit, sit for, for at least a, 24 hours. A day, a full day. If you want the, the better? flavor of it, yes. Oh, yes. so do it so, two days, right? Even better. That'll be perfect. Okay. So I'm gonna sit this to the side. Mm-hmm. Grab some gloves. Sorry. No, no worries. So you also have some some events happening for Mother's Day. It's gonna be a really big day at yes, the plate, right? Uh, big on brunch right now. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people come there. I mean, we're big on everything, but brunch, uh, we brunch have- Brunch is the big one. Like, yes, we have these amazing, huge cinnamon rolls. Um, our chicken and waffles. Is, That's always uh, a yeah, favorite. Sausage biscuits and gravy. Yeah. So we have mimosas and every flavor, you know, it's very, very uh, family oriented yeah. there. Basically, like, this is the restaurant you definitely want to come to. Yeah, Afterwards, yeah. you're going to want to take a nap. Good family stuff. So, yes. <laughs> All right, so getting back to the pork chops and the veggies. So the the- Vegetables here. We're gonna start with some. Make sure we got it cranking. Yeah, electric stoves. I always uh, have a problem. Yeah, these with. things are like. Tricky, yeah. right? I prefer gas at my house. Uh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna actually grab the pork chops out of the oven. Now, when you have, we have this one over here. Mm -hmm. Just want to grab that. Now, once it's all done, you're gonna help, you're gonna grill it on there for about how long? Because it's gonna well, come out looking like this. Like this, yes. Right. So basically, you want to grill them until you have a nice sear until they're well done. About how many minutes for each about, side? About two to three seconds on each sear, and then if you want, you could pop them back in the oven for about a good for five minutes for the okay. final. And they're gonna, gonna come out. Those look they're gorgeous. They're gonna come out like this. But Absolutely. here, we're gonna add the grill marks to them, and then. I see. <laughs> okay. Yeah, those grill marks are are pretty yes. big, right? All right. And then we've got the veggies going. Yes. So for here, we're gonna go ahead and. Sear these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the electric stove always gets you. There we go, <laughs> smell it. So those is gonna start a sear mm -hmm. on them. All right. So then moving on to the veggies. Yeah. So we you've start with got the, cucumbers. So zucchini, we have fresh seasoned vegetables. So we have zucchini, squash, uh, fresh ripe Brussels sprouts, baby carrots, red onions, some garlic, some red peppers, and butter, and a little bit of white wine. Okay. All right. So this is another part that you could actually prep earlier. Yes. Like you could do the So basically you want to take like, um, seasonal vegetables could be like anything, you know, basically you want it to be bright and colorful. Oh so yeah, make it So you want pop. it to be a blend, yes. So right. I mean, if you look in your fridge and you say, hey, I got tomatoes and spinach, you want to add that in there? Throw it hey, in. Yeah. Gotcha. I like that. <laughs> so Everything start, in, the, uh, this, in the fridge, right? Mm -hmm. Why not? Start with a little bit of garlic. Some red onions. There we go. All right, now I hear the sizzle. We mm -hmm. gotta dump those veggies in there. Yeah. Get them going. So you right? smell it, the fragrance, the aroma. Mm -hmm. So that's what you want to go for, okay. basically. You want to let that sit for like maybe a We're gonna probably second. throw the veggies in just so everybody can see at home. Okay. So might so be running out of time. Brussels sprouts. Get them Squash, going. Squash, zucchini. Mm -hmm. I hear the sizzle coming over here, too. Mm -hmm. And then just mix them up. As far as so, seasoning, you said salt and salt pepper? Salt pepper, just a little bit of salt and okay. pepper, not much. Yeah. Some butter. And a little bit of fresh white wine. Mm. There we go. Just want to saute these Get together. Get them going. 
Well, I definitely hear these going, so that so, is some good news perfect. here. Yeah. And you also have potatoes going. Yes, we do. So we have our, so basically with these, you can do any starch you would like rice. Sure. Um, Oh, just so we're right. playing over vegetables. Well, Let's bring them up because I want everybody at home to see the final product. The homemade? So, yeah. And they look delicious. I peeked at them earlier. They are looking really good. These are really homemade, good. fresh homemade garlic mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. And we've got some on a plate right oh, yes, here. Yes, right here. So we're going to try and plate this up sort of real quickly so that we can at least get it on here. Okay. So once these are sauteed, you want to go ahead and add a little bit here. The presentation is great. I mean, as far as like the colors Thank you, you were so talking much. about, Ty. Yeah. That's really these cute. right here. Mm -hmm. So once these are all ready to go, you want to take this out of mm -hmm. here. Put that like that so. That is great. A little bit of parsley on top. Mm. And some fresh thyme. Yes, looking good, looking good. Thai, so this that's... is fantastic. I love it, I love it. I love the veggies, they're popping out. And I'm just gonna cut into it real quick. But remind folks, I know where you are, and I've been there. But mm -hmm. remind folks where you are. I'm gonna try the veggies here first. For my mm. folks, where you are in West Hartford? Um, Bishop's Corner. Bishop's Corner, yes. right on North Main, Main Street. Street. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you for being with us. Mm. I appreciate it. Thank you. And Have don't me. forget, you can get all the information on our website. The QR code right there on the uh, right-hand bottom of your screen. Get it right there. All the information you need. We'll be back with much more. Stay with us.